Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today let's model this uh, rolling bridge. Okay, so this is um, roughly what we're going to get. So it's a very simple uh, shape um, family. So you can, so as as you can see, uh, if I adjust this angle here, and I can close this bridge and open this bridge. Oh, too much. <laughs> Okay, so let's let's do it. So um, first, we're going to so this is um, we're going to do it in um, two different uh, two separate videos. So today uh, I'm going to show you this. So we're going to model uh, this part. Okay, so let's do it. So first, uh, create a generic model adaptive, and then let's go to floor plan. I'm going to place one point anywhere. Select this point, make it adaptive, and then I'm going to just copy it up, so roughly uh, 1.5 meter, for example, and then create a reference line. Sorry, create a spline and make it reference line. So let's go back to 3D view. So this, so from one to two, will be the the width. So it will be from here to here. Okay, so from here to here. And let's go back to Revit. And now what we need to, to, to do is we are going to create um, another few points. So use those points to control. We're going to create a, a rotation angle parameter. Okay, so place one point, draw a work plan, set a work plan, pick the horizontal work plan on, of this point, tab this one, and place a point on this point. So uh, to make it easy, easier, I'm just going to drag this point up. So you can see this offset. Eventually, we will uh, change this to zero. Okay. So but now, for now, uh, I'll just move it this point away from this adaptive point. Another one. Place it on the horizontal uh, world plane of this point, and place it on the point. So drag it away, and then. I'm going to select these two points and I want to see the reference plans of this point. So change to always and then we are going to um, so use this point. So we're going to place another point uh, on this point. So another point, draw a work plan, set work plan. So this time pick this one. So this one, so see this is the one. Um, vertical work plan and place it on the point and also as for uh, to make it easier I mean, easier to see all these points i just drag this away as well so you will see this offset and then this point so if i turn on the uh, show reference plans you will see all these reference plans and then if you select this point and this is the rotation angle. So if I change to 45 degree, for example, so you will see you can um, rotate this point. Okay. So let me just change this back to zero. So again, another one: draw a work plan, set a work plan, pick the vertical work plan, place it here. Okay. Drag this away, and then for this one, I'll t show the uh, reference plan and also I'll oh actually I'm going to create a, a rotation angle parameter let's call it a instance okay and okay and then this one as well so I'll just uh, apply uh, this parameter to it as well so now these two points so we are going to use these two points to control to um, let me just do a sketch here so Eventually, these two points will sit in the same location of these two. So this will be the shape. Okay, so, oops, sorry. And so if I drag this, draw, oh, sorry, draw this, and then it will go up. This, this, ah, it's not. Uh, I'll actually, um, I'll just draw one face. So this is the, on the side side of this 
Okay, so this is one panel, and of course there's another panel on the back. So okay, so now we have this point here. Okay, so which is this one? We'll we'll move this back to here uh, eventually, but for now I'll just place it there. So we have this one, this point, and then we need um, this point. Okay, so this point is just uh, a point offset from this one with the the length of that uh, that part of the bridge. So this, let's call it uh, L. Okay, so let's go back to Revit. So it will be here on this point. So place point, draw work plan, set work plan, pick this work, uh, work plan and place it on this point. And okay, and select this point, drag it this way, create a, a length L parameter and instance and OK and OK. So, OK, so now um, I think uh, maybe I'll just move this back a little bit. OK, so not still away from the adapting point, but it's easier for us to, you know, to to imagine <laughs> to this shape. So now we have this point, this point, and then let's have a look over here. So, and then we need to this point. So this point will be, if I get a point from here with the offset up, okay, so this offset will be H, the height of this um, um, balustrade, balustrade height, and this offset, so we need to get this offset, okay? So the H, uh, we will create a parameter for this H, so which means we know this H, and then we also know this angle, okay? So this angle, so if I go back to this image, so you will see when it's closed, there will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which means, so it will be a, uh, like something like this eight and then the shape this one will be this sitting here okay so if i continue this to here this angle will be 360 degree divided by eight which is 45 degree and then if i draw along here this angle equals half of this 45 degree equals 22 0.5 degrees. So this angle will be 22.5. And in this uh, triangular shape, uh, right angle tri triangle, um, it will be tangent, tangent 22.5 degree equals uh, this. So this, let's call it offset O F S divided by H. Okay. So we know H. We know tangent. Uh, 20 2.5 OFS equals tangent 22.5 times H. Okay, so times H, times H. So this will be the formula for the offset. So now let's do it. So first we need, to, what we need is, we need this point and this point to create a spline, make a reference line. And then place a point, use a draw on face, place it on this uh, line, and then select this line. So you will see this one. This this means uh, the distance. If I change this to segment length, so this is the distance from this side, so from this point to here. So that's 213.7. And then we can place Oh, so this will be the offset. So I'm going to just create, let's create offset uh, parameter. And okay, and then place another point, draw our plan, set our plan, pick the horizontal work plan of this point, place it on this point and okay. And then select this point. Uh, it looks like it go down uh, to the wrong direction, but that's fine. Let's drag this down, select this point, Rotate it by 180 degree. So so this point go up. So now we can give this uh, H. So this offset will be the height of the balustrade. So let's call it H. 
and then we need what we need to is we need to go to this uh, family types so first I'm going to just ch uh, set this uh, h at 1 meter and then offset equals so if I go back to so this is the formula tangent 22.5 times h so um, tangent 22.5 times oops wrong one, times h so 414.2 apply okay so looks like um looks like oh it's because the the length of this is not quite right maybe let's make it 1.5 meters apply yeah that's better so it'll go up and then we need another one here go up so repeat draw on face place on this point our reference line so select this point so you will see this is distance from this point so you just need to click on here and then that now it's uh, from the distance from this point okay so so then change this to segment length and uh, just use the same offset and create another point um, draw on word plan pick the horizontal word plan place it on the point and okay select this point same drag it down select this point change it uh, to 180 degree so now you can select this point and um, use the same height okay so now we have all the points so select these two points spline and reference line and then these two spline and reference line and this one remember it's it's this this point okay so select this one spline and reference line so now we have all the four points for this the side panel and then we need uh, we just need another um, so on this side so um, actually you can just use a place point offset you can do the same uh, um, all these points the same way as this so offset and then use all these but you can also it's easier to just offset point from one two three okay okay so let's do it so point join work plan set work plan pick the vertical work plan of this point and place it on point select this point and oh, it looks like it when you go the other way so but that's fine select this point change this to 180 degree okay so repeat join work plan set work plan pick the vertical work plan of this point place it on the point select this point go this way select this point 180 80 180 degree and then another one last one set work plan place a point okay select this point this time yeah it's it's all good we need uh, we don't need to rotate this point okay so one two three so how much do we uh, need to offset this point so we can get the dimension from point and these two adapting points so point one and so this is point one and point two okay so to make it easier to for us to create a reporting parameter so let's just select these two adaptive points together with this reference line and h i isolate okay and then set work plan pick this uh, reference line dimension di pick the point this point dimension so this and we are going to create a reporting parameter uh, let's just call rp instance reporting parameter and OK so now we can HR to show everything select all one two three points we can go here offset we can just use this uh, reporting parameter and you will see the distance the offset distance will uh, match the distance between point one and point two so now we can select connect all these points so these two 
reference line of these two spline and reference line and this one and uh, how which which point should I use so it should be this one okay so this one so the one with the rotation angle uh, yeah actually I don't think it, it matter because all these three points were sitting in the same location eventually so doesn't uh, really uh, make any difference so that's that's okay so let's just connect all of them okay so now we and also we need these two spline and reference line and also maybe uh, this one and this one and Oh, actually, we don't need that. We already have a reference line here, so we can just use this one. So, okay. Oh, good. So now we can select. Let's select these two points. Type zero for the offset. So you should see this because there will be identical points in one location. So one, two, three. Okay. So same. This one and two. Zero offset. Okay. So now that's it so we can now we can create let's before we create the uh, the form the geom uh, the, the the solid form let's try see or uh, to ha uh, have a test of test of these uh, parameters so let's try this first uh, 45 degree good maybe negative 20 good so let's just change it back to zero so this will be the balustrade height, 900, good, 1200, good. So try this one, 1800, good. And then offset, uh, that's controlled by the height. So we shouldn't test that. So, okay, so click OK. So now we can create the form. So select one, two, three, four, create a form. So, and then, uh, if you want to adjust the thickness, you can even create a parameter for this, but I'll just type in 50 for it. And also this will be the material. So if you need to change the material or create a material parameter, you can do this. So this one, create a form, solid, uh, looks like we need to change the direction. So change this to 50, oh good. And then this one, so the, the, we need to place a tab, this one, control select, tab, control select, control select, and then create a form. Okay, so same, just change the direction, and that's it. And then we need to just maybe just uh, uh, fill this bit. So tab select this face create a form, change this to 50, same here, tab, select this face, create a form, change this to 50. So now you can just use a uh, join to join all these uh, form into one, okay? And then that's, that's it. Um, so let's have a test. Final test. Okay, so 20. Good. Zero. Um, 900. Good. One meter. And 1500. Oh, good. Okay, so that's it. Um, so this is uh, just one part of this. And so tomorrow we are going to put them together and and create this rolling bridge okay so thank you for watching i'll upload this uh part so you can have a look if if you need uh, okay so thank you i'll see you tomorrow bye